Hello. The game has started. It's my opponent to go first. I have some high scoring tiles. I don't think I have a bingo here. I can't see a seven. There may be an eight. So my opponent changes. In, so I don't need to look for an eight. I can just consider how to sort this rack out. Now I'd like to play off all of my high scoring tiles or at least two of them. I can't see a way of playing off all three. So I could play BAH. And BAH takes a T on the end, so that's quite useful. I'm just wondering if I, if A double B would be better since the H is more bingoy than the B. I think I will go with this. No, nope. I'm going to play A double B because I think not only is the H better than the B, but the H and the T have some synergy. Great, I have Hardest, Hatreds, Dearths, Threads, Trashed. So, a whole bunch of bingos. I would also have had bingos with the B rather than the H. Anyway, a great rack. I have Breadths down from the B of either B of Ab. So that would, that's my preferred play at the moment. It may not stay available. Ab takes an A and an E and an S at the end. Nothing at the front. Ooh, that's slightly strange. Anyway, I've still got Hardest and SH. Oh, well, I've still got Breadths. Let me get this down. It's unusual to have just the S played off. So my opponent could well have a, a monster of a rack. Breadths 98. Pretty good. This looks close to a bingo. I can't see a 7 here. Quite a few floaters to consider. Okay, well my opponent hasn't bingoed. I'm not feeling great about this rack. G and U don't go well together. There's no I for an ING ending. So I've got Pungle and Plunge, but with an A. However, I do not wish to miss a bingo if there's one here. Gun Plate, I don't think is good. Gosh, these are great floaters, all of which look like they go well with this rack. But I, I can't see a bingo here, so I'm not going to look further. Now, I know that my G can go in front of OE. So I want to get rid of the G and the U. And the P isn't a particularly fabulous tile. So Gup for 18. I hope I'm not missing a bingo with this rack. I'm Where I put my G would have been quite hot for a J. I don't think my opponent has set that up. So I don't have to play there. I'm just trying to sort my rack out. This isn't a great rack leave because L and N lack synergy, although they are both bingo -y tiles. The G, I think, quite helps this rack leave. So can I play off P and U somewhere? Now, do I have a double-double? maybe as a non-bingo, through this A. Boo takes an L, N, L or N after it.
Gosh, I have all Narge, which doesn't quite reach this second double word square. So I can't see anything through that. I'm going to go with Gup. Not great. I don't think a lonely is good. Actually, I think it is a lonely. I think that's good, and that does play in row G. Well, if it's not good, it'll come off, probably. Well, I'm really not sure on that. So, what about the the fluters, in particular, T, H, and S? I've got the non- Prefix. I've got the LY ending. I've got the SYN prefix. But a lonely is all I can see. Now, if that is blocked or I decide I don't want to play it, I note that my Y can go in front of GOE. So I may have a play in column five. And my Y can also go in front of the U. So I, a, a play of Yon would be quite good. 26 points. Not as much as a bingo. It will be interesting to see what my opponent had when he stuck just an S on the end of Ab. Very uh, curious move. But maybe he kept six great tiles and... Well, we, we will see later. Anyway, a lonely remains available. I note for future reference that Axis takes a T and an M in front. I don't have anything through the A and the X. I am going to have a go with this. Oh, well, I don't have two L's. Okay, scrap that. So, what to do? Well, this certainly looks pretty hot running over the top of Axis. My, any of my vowels can, can go in front of the X. Close to Leon A's, if there was an I in front of this S. So, do I? Ha I certainly want to play off a Y and an N. Can I stick my Y on this double letter square? Well, I can play Yale, but that's keeping two N's. However, the points may justify doing that. I could just play NYE. Quite a balanced rack leave. 35 points. Yale. 42. 7 more points. I think I prefer this balanced rack leave. Actually, I don't. Nye takes an S in front. So I don't want to do that. Can't see a way of playing off an L. So Yale, 42. I draw another N, but cannot can't really complain since I kept two of them. I don't think non-men is good. Yeah, this is the trouble when you keep a poor rack leave. It's very easy to then have a a tricky rack. Nice score by my opponent, forty-five points. Now, a play of NEM, N-E-M-N, -E would help resolve the rack. I, I'm wondering if NEMON is good. I 
Well, I th that uses two M's. So NEM is the play which sorts the rack out. Can't see anywhere for that. Just wondering if I have a five letter play ending in E. Can't see such a play. X takes an O after it. LA takes an M. Can't see anything there. 12 minutes on my clock, still 56 tiles to come, so I need to speed up. I could just play a non, but that is just too few points. Now, Nem does play here. I really don't like the poor score and the vowel heavy rack leave. So I must be able to do better. The M isn't a bad tile to keep. So I don't have to play it. What am I missing? Breads is tricky to play parallel to because there are so many consonants and I don't have a lot of vowels. I could just play con across here, C O double N. Do I have anything beginning with the A? Just a non, which I don't like because it's putting the O underneath this premium square. Well, this is the trouble you get into by keeping a poor rack leave. It burns up your time. F only takes an E after it. So I could play none, but then I'm opening up column one. C takes nothing after it, which makes it difficult to play parallel to factory. Well, I'm, I'm going back to this, this play. I don't like it, but I'm struggling to find a better one. Nem, nine points. Oh, wow, look at that. Rewarded for the brilliance of my last play. I surely have plenty of bingos here. I'm immediately drawn to row O, which is super hot with the S, so I definitely have bingos beginning and ending with S. And since I'm ahead, it makes sense to play one which ends in the S so that I'm not opening the board up. And such a play would be... Well, there must be a number of possible plays. I've got the I-E-S ending, but I've just got the S ending, so I just have to find almost any seven-letter play here. Isonomes, that'll do. Yep. And if that's blocked, well, it certainly would play in column nine, but that's not ideal. I may have a double double in row K. That's pretty hard to find with two blanks and the number of vowels, so I don't think it's worth looking for. 15 minutes on my opponent's clock, 10 minutes on mine, still more than half of the bag to come. NA takes an A in front as and an M, so I've got Moonies across here. Just wondering if I've got any... What well, I'm just wondering what my best alternative to row O is. Because certainly a column 9 play doesn't get doubled, and any plays beginning with ADTH open up column 15. So probably a 
play which gets doubled running through the N or the E but not beginning in row A would be best. Noontide doesn't quite fit. The M's not available because Abs takes nothing in front of it. Very hard to see bingos when you've got two blanks. It's hard enough with no blanks to find find bingos. One blank is nice. You've only got 26 separate racks to consider, and you can generally do that in the time available. Two blanks, it's impossible to consider every combination. Great! My row O slot is available, so let me get this down since I've burned up a lot of time. Isonomes, 71. Not great because of the WU, but the rest of the rack is quite nice. I don't think there is a 7 here. I'm just scanning the floaters on the board. Nothing is coming to mind. So it would be nice to play off the W and the U. But the rest of the rack's pretty good. So I'd like to keep as much of that intact as possible. I've now got a 140 point lead, which is good. I've got Wade in column 2, W-A-I-D-E. 29 points, which is a good score. I've got War on my rank, but it wrecks the rack leave, and there's nowhere obvious to play that. Just 11 points for my opponent. My Q can go above the S, but then I don't have a play. So how to sort this rack out? I've got a good lead. And I've got the possibility of having a good rack leave and a bingo. So is it possible to play off just the W and U? I could play Wuss, which is keeping all these floaters in bread, Sanem. But it's scoring almost nothing. So I think I can do better than that. Nine minutes on my clock. My W can go in front of EX, but then I'm struggling to play off the U. But the reason the W and the U lack synergy is because there are so few words with them both in. So it's not surprising I'm struggling to find a to find such a play. And if I did play worse, not only does it not score very much, but the rack leave, although it's quite nice, is vowel heavy. And there's a lot of vowels to come, so I could have a, a very vowel heavy, no scoring tiled rack next to go. So what about playing Wade, opening the board up even more? It's quite open at the moment. Now I have Ward on my rack. Uh, that's a better play. Down here. Twenty four points, which is quite good. Pretty uneasy about this rack leave. Just two vowels. One is not good. Seven minutes on my clock and forty two tiles left. That is not looking good at all. Therefore, I'm inclined to play off more tiles. Ward and hope I don't pick vowels. Fantastic, look at that. I've got uh, traked, I'm not sure there's anywhere for that, but it's a pretty good rack and I dodged a, a big vowel pickup. So although I may not have a bingo this go, I, I may be able to leave a decent rack leave. Nice bingo by my opponent. Except is it good? Because tendons is good. Is tendrons good? Yes. Okay. Now, what about darkest? Is darky an adjective? Straked is good. 
well, I'm not going to risk it. I just don't feel... I feel that it's definitely there. But maybe I should. Six minutes on my clock. Is there anywhere really good for my K? I don't think Darkiest is good. So, I want to dump the K. But do I want to leave column 15 available for my opponent? I think I do, because I want to bingo with this rack. I'm... If I played just the K, I would have a very good rack leave. Now the trouble with playing just the K is I'm not going to score well. Only six minutes on my clock. Probably better to play something like Trakes down here. Or, why not just... No, I do want to get the K doubled. Yeah, so I think Trakes is the best way of doing that. Ratcliffe's okay, DE. Still the Z to come, so I am setting up a Zaza spot. And Trakes may not be good. So, what about playing Kassar, keeping a much better Ratcliffe? 39 points. I've still got a 100 point lead. I'm still got a rack which looks pretty bingo -y. Nice play by my opponent, but only 10 points, which is good. Do I have anything through the D or the R? Only 5 minutes on my clock. The R looks promising, close to meteoroid. Can't see anything there. What about the D? Can't see anything. So how to sort the rack out. I'm Val heavy. Still 12 Vals out of 29, so fairly balanced. So I played off just a couple of Vals. O and E, for example. Then my rack lead would be quite good. Exxon is good. Four minutes on my clock, which is not very much. And not a great time to be playing off a tiny number of tiles. However, I quite I do like this rack leave and the board has got quite a few bingo lanes. So limited, which plays in row C. And I've also got D limit, which plays in rows C and E. My opponent may block both of those by playing down column 8. Just looking at these floaters to see if I've got anything through them. Limiteds is good, but there's no floating S. Tawiwi has blocked column 9. I've got a 100 point lead, which is good. Floaters are really those in tendrons, D, R and O. Can't see anything through any of those. 20 tiles left, only 4 minutes on my clock. An R can go between F and O, still one R to come. I could just place my... Great, D-Limit and Limited remains available. So I'm going to play D-Limit here. No S's to come, both blanks gone. That's good. D-Limit, 73. Pretty good rack, Lee. Sorry, pretty good rack. V and F don't go well together, but it's balanced in terms of vowels and consonants, and I've got scoring tiles through an R. I would have Fiverr. Crags blocked that. Ray C is available as a bingo lane. It takes an F and a V. So I've got five which would play off the F and the V. 
Does that play anywhere? Well, it clearly does play through the eyes of Delimit and above it, but it doesn't get doubled, so I'm not getting a decent score for it. Ten tiles in the bag, three minutes on my clock. Looking at, I'm looking at column eight for a five-letter play ending id or eyed. Can't see anything there. Neither my F or my V goes in front of the I, so I can't play parallel to delimit and above it. My opponent challenges, he loses five points. That's good. Onto an R, I would have fever. Nothing goes in front of K, so column 14 isn't available. I've got an I for making Chi and is. Only 24 points. Now, what about a six-letter play be beginning above id? I don't think Venite is good, although it might be. I'm not going to try it. So I can't see a six-letter play. I've could play view across here. I don't have to play off the V and the F, and indeed it's quite useful to keep a scoring tile on one's rack. So view is a possibility in row C, 24 points. Let me check the vowel situation again. 7 out of 17. Still the J and the Z to come. Now, where was the Zaza spot I was concerned about? Oh, well, I don't think I played that in the end. Just wondering if I've got a better play than view, especially in and around D limit. Eight minutes on my opponent's clock. So do I have anything through the M? Well, all of the, the D-limit play is pretty dry for me. I'm just not seeing anything. I've got invent through an N. And I don't have anything to go in front of the W. Okay, 12 points for my opponent. That's good for me. And he's taken out a bingo lane in row C, which is also good. Three minutes on my clock. Six tiles left. View, 24 points. I, this doesn't feel great. But I think I'm sufficiently far ahead that it's okay. Wow, I draw the J and the Z. And I've got a... A heavy rack. I could do with vowels with the very high scoring tiles, but I've only got two. I can't see a decent play in column one using either of them. I've got fan jet on my rack. Nowhere to play it. I can't see anything in column 8 using the J or the Z. I've got jizz through the I for not very much, but that might be worth doing. This could be my last rack. So I don't want to be stuck with the J or the Z. I can't see anything in row C through the U. Neither my J nor my Z go in front of id. 12 points for my opponent. And he's blocked my jizz spot. Three minutes on my clock. The, the bag is empty, 
I can see what my opponent's got. So it would be nice to go out in in two. But that's I think is going to be difficult. I could play Zanti in column fourteen. Keeping J E F, but I can't see anywhere for Jeffe. Two minutes to go. Or two minutes on my clock rather. I could play Jean. So I don't really want to play off both vowels. I can play jizz through this eye. But do I then have an out? So that's nineteen points. Well, yes, I have fatten, and if that's blocked, I've I've at least got fave for a decent score. So I am going to go with with jizz. Or, or am I? Yep, I can't see anything better. So I have got fatten as an out. That could well be blocked. But if it is, I can play fave for well over 30 points, which is a decent score. I can see my opponent's rack. I can't see anything great for him I don't think I have a five letter play with this rack I'm just looking around for anywhere that any floaters for a six Okay is still available for letters which hook boo. So N and T, I don't think boof is good, although it might be. But in any event, I can't see anything good going through U and A. Not a great board or rack for my F. Five minutes on my opponent's clock, one minute on mine. Just wondering if I have anything through this N, but I don't think I do. The C takes out the D and the O because it takes nothing before or after it. Can't see anything in column 13 through this I. Although I note my F goes next to the O and the E, so I might have a nice play down column 13. But if fatten, fatten is blocked, I'm inclined to play in column one. Great, fatten remains available. Twenty two points and out. Just wait for my opponent to formally end the game. Which he does. And the final score. 281 to my opponent, 477 to me. A winning margin of 196 points. So a massive, massive win. Let's see what I missed. It was my opponent to go fast. He changed. This was my rack. I didn't like it. I played ab in the end. But I think Bart may be better. With hindsight. My opponent's rack, pretty good. Does he have a bingo? No, he doesn't. So this was the one he played just the S. Okay, I can see where he's coming from. He is keeping a pretty decent six letter rack leave. Probably a play of OS would would leave a better rack, but I can understand where he's coming from. He is fishing for a bingo next go. And not fishing badly, he's keeping a pretty bingo set of six tiles. Anyway, it left breads for me and 98 points. Ah, and then my opponent draws an O, so yeah, that now explains why he then plays Boo. Does he have a bingo? No, so 
maybe slightly unlucky. And this was a rack I struggled with. I thought there may be a bingo. There wasn't. But N Gulf N2. I didn't see that through the H. That's pretty nice. But look at the rest of the options. Nothing great at all. Everything in the low 20s and poor rack leaves. Gup Freighty I think is fine since it, the rack leave is better than these on offer. My opponent plays Axis. This was my rack and I spent ages thinking about a lonely which I didn't actually have which was pretty lame. Anyway. Ah look a Yelp was playable across onto this P and Yelp and I went for Yale but I think the two moves above it are better. Wow, that Y was helpful for my opponent. He plays Factory, and this was probably the rack I struggled with most. Non-men is good, and that played at B2. Okay, I think that would have been the play. Our men, L2, I didn't see that. Making maxis, which I had noticed. Okay, that would have been pretty good as well. And then again, we're back to the low 20s and poor rack leaves. However, Nem for 9, I think, is, is pretty poor and probably... Most of these plays are better. My opponent plays P. I have a ridiculously good and undeserved rack leave after my previous play. And I play isonomes. I wanted to play ending an S rather than beginning with it in order to limit the number of floaters. So I don't really know why. Well, I guess there's just an awful lot of possibilities which begin or end with this S, which is why my move doesn't feature its scores the same. My opponent's rack, pretty awful. He plays Chi. This was my rack, another rack I struggled with. I thought about playing Wade. I think I didn't in the end. I played Ward for 24. Five fewer points, keeping EI instead of RU. Yeah, but Wade opens up column one, so probably not much between those. Nice rack for my opponent. He has Dendrons and Tendrons, which he spotted. Now, this was my rack. Is Darkiest good? No, but Keratoid is. That was that was a miss. Okay. And then Trakes was good. I thought about that and then played Kassar. Horrible rack for my opponent, but sorted out well with Tau Iwi. This was my rack. What did I do? I played Or to try and keep a good rack leave for only nine points. Wow, and 35 was on offer for Duma. Okay, well... Again, this is a move where the, my move was clearly suboptimal. My opponent plays Crag. But again, having played something which was suboptimal, I, I pick well and have a bingo. My opponent plays Guilt. Now Fetid was available. Six tiles in the bag. Fetid was available, keeping Vime, which is quite a good rack leave. I played View for 24. I think Fetid is better. I think keeping two vowels when the bag is vowel, slightly vowel light is probably a good idea in the end game. And the V also benefits from vowels. So I think Fetid was better than View. My opponent plays Loam. Bag's empty. Xanti was available for 32, but look at the rack leave. I'm not going to go out with that. So I played Jizz, giving myself a chance of going out in one, and I still like that. What could my opponent have done? Levity A14. Okay, that would have been pretty nice, and that would have killed my fatten spot. Anyway, my opponent went for Levy, and that left me with fatten. But I also had E10. Where's that? I had on fan through this end, so I hadn't spotted that. And C14. Oh, well, that's just the same play pretty much as fatten but in a one square off so i did have two outs i hadn't spotted the on fan down there down here but if i had have done then that would have made jizz an an even um better play than than i thought it was so i thought i was giving myself a chance of going out in one in fact i was guaranteeing myself an out in one and that was the end of the game so pretty high scoring and it's nice to have a winning margin close to 200. I've had quite a few losses and uh, narrow victories, so it's good to have a um, another big, big win in this game. So I hope you enjoyed watching that, and I will see you next time.